Hey guys, it's Ann Beans, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today I'm going to show you 10 Fay Farm tips that you might not know, and they are commonly asked in the Fay Farm Facebook groups and Discord groups. I do have like two other videos like this on my channel, but now that I am done with the game, I have some more tips for you guys while I'm done with the storyline, not the game. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let's jump right into this video. Number one, if you use magic fertilizer on a plot and then the next day it's still showing as the original crop, like right here it's showing as corn, don't worry, the next day it could still change again. So don't panic and think that you wasted your fertilizer. There is only a certain percentage of a chance that it will swap to the fake crop, but it's not guaranteed on the first day to change. It could change on the third day. I'm not really sure what the cap is, but yeah. Number two, frost beets. A lot of people don't know how to get the frost beets. So what you have to do is plant turnips in a fey soil bed either in the fey realm or on your farm but it has to be a fey soil bed in any season and then you put magic swap fertilizer on the turnip and it will change to a frost beet number three as most of you know you can buy animal charms to change the colors of your animals when you breed them it isn't a guaranteed color change, but if you head to the Fey Realm where you can buy the fake animals, there are more charm colors that you can buy. So a lot of people are wondering where you can get the pink or the green or the purple. That is from this NPC here in the Fey Realm. And then you give that charm when you drop off a pet for breeding and you have a percentage of a chance to get that color of animal. Number four, Gone Potions. Gone Potions can be purchased from Vera, the potion dealer in town. I did not realize you can buy them and when I was struggling to get through the mines, I was struggling to get all of that ecto dew to make my own Gone Potions. And the Gone Potions are extremely helpful in the mines because it makes it where the jumbles can't see you and then they don't attack you. And you can mine, go along your business without being attacked. Now the wagon wheel things, they can still run into you, but they're not like specifically targeting you. But if you attack one while you have it on, then it voids your gone potion and you wasted it. Number five, if you eat things straight from your pocket, it doesn't use the character animation to eat. So it is a lot faster than you just pressing the right trigger to eat when you are low on health. That takes forever. Number six, the cushions in the pillows and the beds are bouncy. Isn't this so fun? You could line up a whole bunch of beds and just have a bouncy party. I might build a bouncy house. Also ignore my house, I just made everything pink and I'm going to decorate it later in a future video. Also you can pretend to sit in your bathtub, unlike Animal Crossing, even though you do have clothes on so that's kind of weird but it's still cute. Number seven. So in the beginning of the game, I made these toasted berries on my campfire from the berries that you can find all around Azoria. And that was decent money making. The toasted berries will give you a full 56 florin from one stall. And in the beginning, you'll have about five stalls. So that's okay money for the beginning of the game. But then when you get through the mines, you can make these polished gems. One stall of the polished aquamarine is 2000 florin. So super easy way to make money that way. And it's pretty fast to mine all of those gems. 
Number eight, when it is raining in Azoria, it is not raining in your winter farm or at the Fay farm, but your plants and flowers will still be watered. If you look at the top right of your screen, you see a snowflake on mine and you won't have to water your crops. This confused me at first because I was trying to water them, but you don't have to water them if it's raining or snowing. Number eight, a lot of people are asking if something actually happens during the festivals and no, it does not. If it's your first year of festivals, you will get a letter in the mail a few days before to complete some mini quests and then the day of the festival which is on the 28th of every season and the 14th of winter is the Fay Festival. You will just have to head to the courthouse or I'm trying to think of what it's called. Um, the mayor's house at the front of Azoria and then you will see all of the festival decor as well as if you go inside, it is all decorated for the festival with tons of seasonal items that you can buy. If you want a guide to how to get all of those items that you'll need for every single festival, I do have that on my channel in my Fae Farm playlist. Now we're moving on to the final tip, and that is these hidden scrolls hidden all around Azoria. I am going to make a short video showing all of the hardest scrolls to find, but here are a few of them. There are tons of scrolls in waterfalls. Just walk inside the waterfall and see if it comes up that you need to investigate something. Chances are it's a scroll, of course. So there's also one hidden in Igni's house by these scorched caverns like somewhere I wouldn't have ever gone. Also upstairs at the tavern, if you walk along this pathway here, you will find a bed. And then this was the hardest one to find for me. Go west of the boat from Eddie's place. And you do have to have the fourth spell unlocked to get here because there's normally a door right here. And I'm going to clip to that footage now. Here it is, and bam, you will get some gems, and there are actually two scrolls inside of here. The Tidepool Rug and the Simple Cart. It took me forever to find those. I did not know that that door existed for quite some time, but that is west of the boat that is south of Eddie's. Then I'm gonna show you one more in a waterfall in the Fey Realm. There is one hiding inside of the left, well, the second from the left waterfall here. Press X to investigate and you will get the Fey Potted Fern. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below if you learned something or if there's something that you're wanting to know and I will try to answer it in my comments. But I also have a Facebook group for Faith Farm where I might have a response quicker, which I will link in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one.